And simple harmonic motion is three things. So it's periodic motion, it's caused by restoring force, And really, those are the two main things. Um, but the other thing is uh, restoring force has to have an equilibrium point. So about an equilibrium position. So we basically just need to ask, do waves have these things? So are waves periodic? Yes, waves are periodic. They take the same amount of time to make the wave over and over and over and over again. So waves are periodic. Are they caused by a restoring force? Yes, there's some force that brings uh, that acts on the uh, wave. So when the wave went through the slinky, there was the wave that brought the slinky back to equilibrium. There's a force that brought it back to equilibrium. Uh, if you're talking about water waves, there's gravity and other things that are working to balance out water. Uh, gravity and its water pressure. So like there is a force that's trying to bring it back to equilibrium. And is there an equilibrium position? Yes. If the slinky doesn't have a force acting on it, then the slinky is flat. If the wind isn't blowing on the ocean, though ocean water is flat. Um, so it does have all of those things and you would just need to explain what's going on with each of those. Okay? So that was the first one I wanted to look at. Um, the second one I want to look at is on notes 3B. Um, so, <coughs> while you would expect um, the speed of the wave to change when you change frequency, it doesn't. So why is that? So V equals F lambda, you would think that if you made frequency larger, you would make the answer larger, right? If you take 10 times 2, you get 20. But if you increase the 10 to uh, 20, then 20 times 2 is 40. So you would think this answer would get larger, but it doesn't. The reason why is if the frequency goes up, the wavelength goes down. So that's why the velocity stays the same. Okay, so the two punches, so here's the, oh my gosh, here's the dude, totally drawn a stick figure guy here, here's the punch, yeah, there we go, it's first class level drawing, that definitely looks like feet, but whatever, don't worry about it, okay, don't worry about it. It's a reason why I'm a physics teacher, not an art teacher. So the question is, which punch is going where? So one punch goes straight into him and through his body forward. And the other one is the one you saw. It punched into him and then it went around him. So which punch is which? So um, the transverse wave, transverse, remember, goes a, goes uh, in the opposite direction of the wave. So the wave goes forward and the wave and the particles go side to side or up and down or something like that. So if I punch into the body and the wave goes out, that's transverse because the motion is forward but the wave goes around and that's perpendicular and that's what transverse is. So the transverse wave is the wave that goes around his body. So that means the longitudinal wave is the one that goes into his body. And that should make sense too, because 
when I punch forward, if the wave goes forward, the motion of the particles is in the same direction, and that's what longitudinal is. Longitudinal is when the wave goes the same direction as the particles. Okay, So that would be longitudinal for that one. Okay, um, and then uh, people looked good on seven. So <coughs> let's look at um, the 